I've always told my family the best way to treat a cold or a virus is to avoid catching it in the first place. And it's the same with your computer. The big bugs that you want to avoid are viruses and worms. These are malicious programs that can cause damage to your computer and to the information stored on it. When I first heard about these programs, they seemed kind of scary, so I decided to learn more. And here's what I found out. Worms and viruses can access my computer through email attachments, computer networks, or floppy disks. And they can spread to the computers of my friends, family, coworkers, and the rest of the web. They work a little differently. For instance, a virus attaches itself to a file or a program, but it needs you to move it along by sending the infected file in an email or sharing the file on a floppy disk. Now, a worm can distribute itself from computer to computer, often using email addresses it finds on your computer. And just as human viruses range in severity, computer viruses range from mildly annoying to downright destructive. You might suspect that you've got a problem if your computer just suddenly slows down, stops responding, or crashes and restarts every few minutes. And worms can even allow someone to remotely take control of your computer without you even knowing about it. There are more than 65,000 known viruses and worms, and new ones are developed every day. They come from all over the world, and they're created by hackers, online vandals, even criminals. With so many threats, chances are good that your computer will be attacked sooner or later. How can you defend yourself? The best medicine for viruses is prevention. There are three main ways you can help protect yourself. Go to the Protect Your PC website, select your operating system, and then Microsoft will walk you through three specific steps needed to protect your computer. Step one, use an internet firewall. It's like a deadbolt on your front door that you can lock to guard against potentially harmful internet content. If you're a Windows XP user, then install Windows XP Service Pack 2, which includes many updates for your operating system. With its built-in Windows firewall, SP2 automatically provides better protection against viruses, hackers, and worms. SP2 also includes Pop-Up Blocker for Internet Explorer and the new Windows Security Center. Step 2. Keep your computer up to date. With the most recent updates installed, your operating system is less likely to get sick from viruses. Windows XP and Windows Millennium users can set their machines to automatically install critical updates when they become available. Windows 98 users need to visit the Windows Update site often to select and download updates manually. And step three, always use up-to-date antivirus software. It's designed to fight off new strains of attacks as they arise. Recommendations for various antivirus programs can be found online. Make sure yours is scanning for new updates regularly. Nothing will guarantee the security of your computer 100%. But if you follow these suggestions, you'll improve your computer security. Use an internet firewall. Keep your software up to date. Maintain a current antivirus software subscription. No matter how authentic an email may appear to be, make sure you know the contents of an attachment before you open it. And delete any emails with attachments from people that you don't know. If you follow these steps and still have issues, you should check your system for spyware. That's software that is accidentally installed on your computer without your knowing it, usually by downloading it with another program that you did want. Sometimes spyware can display symptoms similar to worms and viruses.